Hi, this is Rabbi Fleschel giving you something special in Animal Torah. And behind me is one of the most fascinating animals. It's the giraffe. And the question we're asking today is, is the giraffe kosher? So what makes an animal kosher? Very simple. It needs to have split hooves and chew the cud. And the giraffe has both of those. So if that's the case, then how come you haven't eaten giraffe? How come Jewish people don't eat giraffe? So one of the fallacies behind the giraffe is that we don't know where to cut it because it has such a long neck. So that's not true. In fact, it's easier to find the spot of a giraffe's neck than a normal animal's because it's so long and it's easier to find the spot. And then the other reason why people say we don't eat it is because we don't have a tradition to eat um, a giraffe. So some people hold that we only hold by traditions of animals with birds and that isn't the case with animals. So some people would hold that we could have giraffe. So why don't we eat giraffe? So number one is, can you imagine how difficult it would be to take a giraffe and try slaughter it? Very strong animal. Um, one kick from a giraffe can kill a lion. A human being has no chance with a kick. And, um, and it, 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 it would be very, very hard. You would need a ladder to go up and to slaughter it. And not only that, a giraffe is in danger. And therefore, it would probably cost a lot of money to eat the meat of giraffe. So that's really the reason why we don't eat giraffe. But a giraffe is kosher. This is Rabbi Fleschel once again giving you something special on Animal Torah.